We continue to follow breaking news on UMKC's campus where one person was hurt while protesting a controversial speaker on campus. Let's go back out to Betsy Webster who's live now with the very latest. Betsy. Well, one of the big questions is whether the use of force was appropriate in this case. A university spokesman confirms that indeed university police did tase one protester and did use pepper spray or what they call OC spray on several others. He says that the taser was used while trying to arrest one of the protesters who was resisting arrest. Um, and as for what that protester was being arrested for, well, it appeared to be mostly disruptive yelling, what we saw in some video we were shown. But a supporter of the speaker who shot that video says that the tasing took place after the protester sprayed something. Are you sure it wasn't just glitter? You know, it may have, but in the, you know, in the moment when people are walking out and saying F you and throwing you the middle finger and they just dump a whole bunch of some sort of liquid, because it was a liquid as well, because when he held up his papers, it had a bunch of, it had stuff dripping off of it. Now, according to uh, the university spokesman, there was one person injured. That person who was tased was injured while being taken into custody. I am not certain the nature of that injury. I was told by the spokesman that the person was treated at the scene and not transported. Though I did hear some folks who were walking into the area talking about blood in the area, some blood in that room, but I have not been allowed to go into the auditorium to uh, really see how much of that we're talking about. Reporting live at UMKC, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Betsy, thank you.